Hello and welcome to Tutorials, I am Tam and for our first coding tutorial yay, we shall be looking at jQuery and we're just looking at the basics of it today and this is what we're going to end up making this basic web page now in the middle we have a orange box as I'm sure you can see we have a load of buttons at the side, if we hit opacity you can see the opacity changes and behind it you can get the uh, measurements of the opacity and dimensions so just click it and the opacity randomly changes to a randomly generated number and again we can change the width to whatever and the height to whatever as well and then we can reset it we can either hit no and nothing will happen or we can hit yes and it will reset everything okay let's close that and let's come into your favourite text editor or whatever editor you use. I'm using Dreamweaver because I like the little mm. pop-up things, whatever they are. Code hinting, that's the one. And we'll ma I'm going to make a PHP file, but it works in HTML. I just prefer PHP. Don't know why. Okay, so let's just make a new uh, PHP file. I'm going to call mine tutorials j query basic there we go I can spell and save it out wherever calling it whatever I'm going to call it index okay now first we need to call our um, jQuery uh, JavaScript file now I have mine in the same directory so I'm just going to go script and the type will be text slash JavaScript and the source is of course jQuery. I always ha um, find that it's best to call um, jQuery first or your other scripts won't work because they're called in order and you should call jQuery first. Next we're going to call the script that is going to have our um, main uh, script for the animations and stuff that you saw, which I just call script appropriately enough. And we're also going to call the style sheet. So it'll be uh, link rel and style sheet. Type will be text slash CSS. And uh, we shall call it style dot css okay now we are done in our header tags now let's come to our body tags now we need to start off by creating a unordered list and with an we'll call it we'll give it an id of navi and then we want uh, six list items and that'll do for the moment. So we've got our unordered list. In fact, six list items, each with an ID of click for the time being. We'll change that in a minute. And for anyone who's interested, I am using Zen Coding for my quick coding stuff. And you can download it free from Google Code. So if you just do a Google search for Zen Coding, you get that cool little thing. Now, what we want to do, because of the CSS we'll be using, uh, we need to, to be able to get the text centered in the middle of our buttons. We need to create a table for, to do that for us, because we can't just go CSS, display, table cell, uh, vertical alignment, because it doesn't want to work. I don't know, maybe it's just my computer. So we're going to create a table, if I can spell, and table row, TD. And then we want the width of the table to be 100%, and the same with the height, 100%. Okay, and now I'm just going to copy this into every other list item. Now, um, in our first list item, we want this first uh, item to change the opacity of our box. The second one, we want to change the width. Third one, height. Fourth one will be our reset button. 
we reset. There we go. Sorry, I'm quite tired today. And in fact, we'll make that a question. Do you want to reset? And then our yes and no buttons. Yes and new. Now, as you can see, all these have got the same ID. We want to change that. So we'll go two, three, four, five, and six. Cool. So there's our navigation list done. Next, our proxy spaces, we want a div and we want to give it an ID of ob OBJ for object. Okay, and inside that again, we want a table width and height 100%. So we can copy that and then close off our tags. Now, in here, I am going to put uh, header tags and we'll say orange shift enter for me to get that break tag up and then box with a smiley face okay so now let's create another div <laughs> and we shall call it uh, what it? div with an id of obj2 and okay now in here again we want to paste our table width and height in and then we want to in fact we can drag this up here I think and then close off our tags down here okay now in here we want to create a some paragraph tags and we'll say opacity okay and then new line in a new set of paragraph tags we shall put in fact we'll give these paragraph tags a class of OP for opacity and we'll put 100% and I'm going to make that whole set tags bold. Now what you want to do, if you're going to make yours bold like mine, make sure you put the strong tags outside your paragraph tags because when jQuery changes the um, uh, thing in here, the number, it will get rid of everything inside these two tags so if I remember I will show you how to, if you want those tags inside I will show you how to make those tags appear inside in fact I'll just, no, yeah, okay, I'll, sh I'll try and remember to show you that okay, next line we're just going to create some paragraph tags and we'll put a, a blank space in them just so we've got a break and then next paragraph tags we want dimensions That looks right. That'll do. Okay, and we can create new paragraph tags. And in that, we want to create some strong tags, I think. Yep. And then span. And give the span a class of WI for width. And we'll put 300 pixels, because that's how wide our box is going to be. And then outside our strong tags, we'll put by wrong by 300 pixels again and give this one a class of he for height okay so we're done in our index document and if we look at design this is what we've got we've got our two boxes one which will be on well we've got our first bottom box we've got the upper box and we've got our long menu item things okay now we're going to create this style sheet so I'm going to control N for new or file new whatever and we're going to create a CSS style sheet or just create a new document and call it a .css document so this is what we're going to be making okay so first off a few um, basic clean up things we're going to get rid of any padding and margins okay and we'll save this as style